Smoke machine. Hey, everybody. We are live at Pay Studio on the Road in East Nashville. We're at Instrument Head Live today with Langhorn Slim. <laughs> Dude, thank you for being here, man. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. We are, we're about to hear music from Strawberry Mansion. It comes out January 29th of 2021 on Dual Tone, and you're going to share some music with, it, with us from it today. Oh, so we're going, this isn't like a test run. We're, we're going No, now. this is the thing. This is the we're thing on. right now. Yeah. We're online. Yep. The internet can see. Cool. <laughs> uh, cool. Should I start playing? Yeah, man. We'd love that. Great. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in, in the next... Four to 72 songs that I'm going to play uh, will be um, the story of the last eight months of all of our lives. So I've done, I've done us all that, that task. And I hope that you'll rate a Yelp review. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, we could do a rating between one and... Uh, I suppose one and well, one and ten. Let's just keep it the classic. All right, well, here we go. There's a song called Panic Attack. <clears throat> Wanna speak to someone confidentially Don't know just how I'm feeling But I'm feeling feelings exponentially Convoy started asking questions Said ma'am I was hoping for advice Said I'm feeling lots of feelings Not a single one of them feels nice She said Do you ever think about dying? Said no but sometimes I lie And do you wanna live? Said yes, but I feel like shit. And on a scale of one to ten, do you feel anxious? On a scale of one to ten, do you feel scared? Said I'm feeling lots of feelings. For some reason, I cut my hair. Sometimes I get irritated Right now I feel it all She spoke and I tried to listen Said son there may be no cure But I swear that life's worth living It's the only thing worth living for To my friends in the same position I wish there was a cure But I know that life's worth living It's the only thing worth living for professional want to speak to someone confidentially don't know just how I'm feeling but I'm feeling feelings exponentially I thought there was gonna be whistling <laughs> Damn it. I'm not much of a whistler or a hooter and a hollerer but hooting and hollering is very very much encouraged <laughs> here um, Sean, how are you feeling? Do you want to roll into the second one? Yeah, I'd like to, to roll chat? into the yeah. second one. Uh, first comes panic, then hopefully comes surrender. Sometimes. God gave me the strength today I offer myself to thee from this bondage set me free Help me see the nature of my wrongs In your grace I will be strong This old world is full of fear and greed Love it is the door and faith's the key From this bondage set me free 
and offer myself to thee. God, with you I can be whole. If I surrender my control. Though I still want to run the show. But I'm trying to let go. This old world is full of fear and greed. Love it is the door and faith's the key. Nothing is deserved nor guaranteed. Now for myself to thee. Pray for thee. For the restless and the wild. For the broken, tame, defiled. For all of us who crave more than we need. I pray for thee. And offer myself. To thee. <laughs> Gonna get some LinkedIn hits for that. <laughs> I can feel it. Man, thank you for sharing this music with us today. Um, can you? So once once the ideas started flowing for uh, for what became Strawberry Mansion, can you describe or talk about the importance of having um, of having Matt? and Paul around, like having the, the community and, and people to call to say, hey, the ideas are flowing, let's, let's make this thing. Can you talk about the importance of yeah. getting, getting more minds and more, more energy kind of behind it um, sure. to, to make it I all mean, a reality? I mean, of course, having friends and particularly brilliant, magical freak beings is a, a gift uh, that I, I couldn't, there, there's no, no price to, to such friendship. <clears throat> um, but before I was able to call Matt and Paul, um, I had to write songs. And that, that had been something I hadn't been doing for quite some time. So I think part of, basically, I didn't write any, I was trying to finish a record, and I was just banging my head against the wall. I kept hoping if I banged my head harder, there would be like a window and a, a, a breeze would come in. And uh, instead, my, my head just hurt a lot. So I came back to Nashville. I was in California. And then a tornado came. And then a, a global pandemic. And for all the, the, sh the terrible shit you know, that that brings, and of course, nobody would want to diminish any of those terrible things, uh, a, like a forced slowing down and, and simplifying for me came at a time that uh, was just right on, right on the money. And I think that wasn't something I probably would have asked for on my own to be like, yo, I need a year to just like sit here and um, work on myself and get a cat. And so a, a wave came in, like when I got back to my house in Nashville, sort of a wave came in, creative wave, so to speak, and, uh, and I wrote it, and I didn't want to, I wasn't thinking I was going to make a record. Uh, I didn't call Matt and Paul or anybody else about it because I'm very superstitious, and I believe in the spirits, whatever they may be, and so I didn't want to bring it into a realm of like a tangible thing that maybe I was going to go into a studio and put microphones up and try to sing the songs real pretty and then put it in a package and try to sell it, which is 
uh, the world that I'm living in now. I'm grateful to be living in that. But at the time, it was like wanting to continue to dance with the spirits if they would let me. Um, and then it got to a point that there was 30 songs, and it was time to call Matt and Paul. Um, is that yeah. what those the the music videos that are uh, they're like one camera like not not huge production value like it's clear that it's uh, that it's you guys I mean you solo in one of them but then yeah. the three of you guys um, was that part of that dancing with the spirits uh, aspect before Keeping before it, it was fully like you in a drained swimming pool for Panic Attack was no uh, those was were all cool. videos that we, I knew at the time we 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 had made a record um, but that's just keeping it in the family that's my brother Joel not from the same mother but uh, from a different mother brother named Joel Sadler, <clears throat> who does these one take videos that are extraordinary. Uh, yeah, the and way he, he chose to do it, I mean, it's, it's very, very impactful, the way those were done. Yeah, I, I agree, and I appreciate that. I know he, he will as well. He got his start, I believe, with, the, with that style video with LeBlaga Tech, which I'm sure you're, you're probably familiar with those guys. Yep. And um, we became friends because I got a call to do one of those sessions and then I got sick or I got nervous or something and, and I didn't do it. And uh, I'd been a fan of La Blaga Tech for a while and I was like, man, that, that really sucks. But I met him and his partner and we became fast friends. And now he's one of my best friends in, in the world. Um, and there's a larger story that I wouldn't want to bore you or anybody else with, but just um, how things tie together where I was going through a really difficult time toward the end of my, my experience in, in California, and Joel was the guy that came out there to, to, um, to drive, to pack my stuff up with me and, and to drive back to Nashville. And uh, he didn't know that I was in the shape I was in, so we were having a plan to make these videos together, and he wound up just picking me up and just being my boy through it. Um, and I got home, and better days, thank goodness, were ahead, as they always are in our darkest times. Um, it doesn't always seem like that, but if we, keep, if we keep breathing, better days are ahead. And it was a tremendous, a really like an emotional and just beautiful thing to, to further my friendship with those guys that we're talking about, and then to be able to create this music and have Joel come up from New York um, to film these things with us. And it's, it feels kind of full circle sort of a deal. Good, man. Well, dude, I'm glad that you have surrounded yourself in your life with people like that, that can, that can reach out and step in and help, man. That's, I made a deal with important. myself some years ago that um, if, I, if I can, to not surround myself with people that give me the creeps. I should be the creepiest dude in the room. <laughs> and I, I, really tr I really do try to live by that. All right. Well, I'm not sure where you uh, where you fit in the creepiness scale in this room. There's some uh, there's some weirdos here, but uh, <clears throat> dude, I think that this is the vibe is wonderful. We're really glad that you're here, and uh, thanks, there, man. And there's more music, man. We're gonna hear more from uh, from Strawberry Mansion. It's out yeah. next year. Yeah, let's do that. What shall I play? We'll do uh, <clears throat> I'll do this one. I wrote notes. There's some notes down there. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And these are songs I wrote and then uh, didn't really sit around and playing. So it's uh, exciting and, and um, scary enough that I had to make a note for the song so that I wouldn't forget the words because I don't think I've played it much since I wrote it. And nobody really needed to hear that, but it's too late now. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Couldn't sleep at all last night Waited for the sun to rise I waited for the birds to sing I wondered what the day would bring mm -hmm. Morning rises soft and sweet Before the world gets on its feet And as sure as the night is long there ain't no right way to do wrong mm. Humankind is in despair Pulling out all its hair 
And as sure as no one feels like they belong There ain't no right way to do wrong crocodile's lips stick your head inside of it but you're gonna find out after a while oh, it's still a crocodile there's no wrong way to get along there's no wrong way to sing a song as sure as no one feels like they belong there ain't no right way to do wrong Cool. Nice. Should I play a different one? Yeah, man, we loved it. We would love that. Were you about to ask me a question, though? Or? I was considering, and I think my mm -hmm. question was going to be, Sean, how do you feel? Would you like to chat, or would you like to roll into the next one? So this is completely feel, dealer's choice at this point. I feel good, man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm down for both. We could even chat during a song. What if we did? What if we did another song and then chatted and then did another song even after that? Cool. I'd like that. I'm gonna try. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this one. Um, it's called Dreams, loosely based on, um, I've always loved George Carlin, but I was getting way into George Carlin, uh, some of his classic stand-up material during the quarantine times, and uh, yeah, it's called, called Dreams, and I hope you like it. madness than smiles and sadness there's more to the dance than who you can take music is playing bodies are swaying but the song's all wrong we made a mistake the dreams they sell i don't believe but they don't tell it's only a dream if we stay asleep is in motion just look at the ocean but there's slides of hands and tricks up the sleeves there was a time we looked up at the sky now we stare down to the dirt at our feet the dreams they sell i don't believe what they don't tell it's only a dream if we stay asleep infinite beauty I let it pass through me and my eyes are open I'm ready my lord I got so tired I nearly expired but I ain't got time to be tired no more the dreams they sell I don't believe but they don't sell it's only a dream if we stay asleep the dreams they sell I don't believe but they don't tell it's only a dream if we stay asleep There's more to this madness than smiles and sadness Than what we collect while our tails are in chase From the beginning, we're dreaming of winning But life it ain't living until we're awake Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Man, so it's, I'm, I'm glad that you have. Uh, Did anybody um, else mess up a part? 
Going um, to live stream? Dude, Does all everybody the just come in here? <laughs> no. Oh, perfect. It would be super weird and super boring if everything came through here and mm. was played perfectly because why play it twice if it was just going to always happen well, the same way? Why play it twice if it was so nice the first time? <laughs> well, I enjoyed that very much. It sounds great from where I'm sitting, so thank you for sharing it. You're kind. Thank you. And, and for sharing the stories too, man. It's, um, I think it's important. I'm, I'm glad that you were able to, to come to where you are now in terms of you're struggling with mental health stuff and you've been open about it with mm -hmm. us. You've been open about it uh, in your music. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad that you had, uh, had that support network around you and people, people to lean on. Not everybody who's going through mental health stuff has any kind of support network at all. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious, not for advice necessarily, but some of the things that have been working for you to get healthy and to get well that aren't dependent on anybody else, just stuff that you're doing. Like Yeah, I mean, I'm incredibly fortunate that I have people around me that, that stuck by my side through ups and downs uh, in lots of different ways. The re can you say motherfucker on this thing? Oh, fuck yeah, yeah, motherfucker away. The real motherfucker about addiction, uh, mental health stuff is, <clears throat> in my experience and in some of the sisters and brothers that I know, is that when you're in the throes of it, even if you do have people around that, um, that love you and that, that uh, would offer support, um, one tends to hide from those people when, when, when you're really in the thing. And it's a very isolating, um, you know, spend a lot of time in the shadows. I think anybody, you don't have to identify as like a depressed person or anxious person or an a alcoholic or a drug addict. I think during these times, everybody's had their share of anxieties, blue feelings. And it's in those times that it's particularly difficult, I think, to reach out to other people. Um, a lot of what uh, I happen to identify as, as an alcoholic and, and, a, and an addict. And a big thing that we get taught in certain places is, is not to isolate and to, um, to make sure we stay connected. And it's just a, it's a, it's a wild thing that then we have a, you know, a global pandemic and your quarantine. And, and I think everybody's had a taste of, of a lot of fear and of, of feeling isolated and, and feeling alone in their own ways. So, I mean, there, of course, are, are, are places to call for those who are feeling these, these, uh, these things and, and feel as though that they don't have places to reach out. But I just think it's so, so important that if you have any friends, you know, any, anybody that, that truly gives a damn to, um, to stay connected. And what I have found, um, sometimes I love talking about this stuff. Sometimes I don't love, you know, when it's, when there's cameras in front of you, you're like, Oh geez, okay, here we go. Yeah. Um, but I, I will say that in my experience over the years, um, with my struggles, the more that I, that I, that I do reveal the freer that I do feel. And it's for my, for myself, it, it enables me to feel, to sort of hold myself accountable in certain ways. And also, I know that there's countless people out there that have, you know, these struggles. And I, I, I think during this time, there are people, like I was saying before, maybe prior to a year ago, wouldn't have considered themselves uh, scared shitless. Uh, but a lot of people have had a, had a taste of that. So, you know, it's just living it. I think there's a lot of talk about, um, which I respect, but there's a lot of talk about, uh, you know, uh, somehow ridding our society of a stigma with mental health, health issues and, and addiction stuff. And that sounds great, but there's gotta be action to it. And I just, things are a lot less scary when, when I say them out loud, when I, you know, thank, Thank the Lord I have this in my life. You know, music is, is, a, is a very, is the most powerful thing I've ever had in my life in a lot of ways. But to get to, um, to sing about them is for me a, a perhaps more natural than, you know, to, to talking about them in some other ways. Um, yeah, I, I think it's really staying connected and, uh, and not feeling like, you know, 
it's, they could slap it on the back of a bumper sticker, but motherfuckers ain't alone. And there's just a ton of us that deal with these things. And um, I know in my own world that when I, when I open up and I'm real about it with people, that everybody can relate in some way. If it's not them, they got a brother, they got an uncle. But more and more, it's, it's all of us. You know, we've all got, we've all got, um, we've all got blue days. But I, uh, I do believe that the shit doesn't last forever. I thought I was down for the count a number of times. But here I sit. Yeah, we're here today, man. This is, it's hopeful stuff for me. I, I identify with a lot of what you are speaking about today in a very personal way. And I'm sure that it's, I mean, for a lot of people that are, that are watching it right now, both the, the chat about it and the music itself is helpful stuff, is comforting stuff, man. It is nice to know they're not alone. And you communicate that very, very clearly. So it feels great, man. Thank you for the music. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Would you, do you feel like playing another one from Starberry Mansion? No, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, I love that I keep looking down at this sheet like it's going to tell me something. It was just some words for the last song. Um, yeah, let me think here for a second. I'll do, uh, I'll do something that isn't off of Strawberry Mansion. I'll do this one. Things could be stranger, but I don't know how I'm going through changes now We could spend a lifetime trying to figure it out I'm going through changes now That have just begun Under a purple sun there's many reasons we are what we've become I'm going through changes Ripping out pages I'm going through changes now through changes now we want everything but what we've got I'm going through changes now or maybe it's too soon under a purple moon but I'd ride off with you in a big balloon I'm going through changes Rattling cages, I'm going through changes now. could be different but I don't know how I'm going through changes through all the strangeness I'm going through changes now thank you so much uh, how about another one yes please okay <clears throat> this is an off of any record I I wrote it the other night, and, um, and I think I like it. It's called Blue Ain't Bad Always. It's one of my favorite colors. Mm-hmm. tired 
night too and my mind is blue and I wish that you were under my covers Blue ain't bad even though we're sad It's still one of our favorite colors I'm feeling blue today Like a kid who cries for his mother Blue ain't bad even though we're sad It's still one of my favorite colors Talk is cheap so I try to sleep But all my dreams are full of creepy things When I awake the sky is gray And so I pray for your blue eyes to sing Feeling blue today Wish we could get along with each other But blue ain't bad, at least not always For it proves there's more to discover you since the day we met and I think I loved you long before don't want to send you my regrets don't want to make your rich heart poor I'm feeling blue today like a kid who cries for his mother but blue ain't bad at least not always for it proves there's more to discover said blue ain't bad even though we're sad it's still one of our favorite colors feeling blue Are there any more questions? I've, dude, I've got nothing else, man. Either, okay. yeah, we could. What, what do you feel like doing? Do you feel I'll like doing? I'll play a couple more. Yeah, great. If that's okay. Yeah, please. <clears throat> All right, uh, this is a fast one. It's called Red Bird. And uh, my grandfather, I, ne- I can't remember exactly how he told the story because I bet he didn't tell it exactly like this, but it was something along the lines of this. My grandpa, Jack, used to, um, they lived in Longport, New Jersey. I'm from Langhorne, Pennsylvania, and uh, my grand, my grandpa Jack and my grandma May would drive down um, to PA and pick us up <clears throat> and throw us in the back of this Burgundy station wagon and drive us back to Atlantic City. And he used to tell us the story that there was, uh, <laughs> that there was one kid, and he was filled in a room. He was put in a room. You know, these days it sounds a little bit like abuse, but I don't know. Okay, there was a kid, they put him in a room, and it was full of every kind of toy. You know, it had, uh, it had uh, Sega Genesis. <laughs> it had, uh, you know, it had uh, uh, checkers. It had, uh, you get it. Just think of the, all, every toy that you could ever want. It had it in there. And this little boy was complaining, and he wanted more. And he said, you know, I need more toys. And his parents were like, you got every single toy in the world, in that room. It was a big room. I should have stated. It was a really big room. It had every single toy. But that little son of a gun, he wanted more. And then, this is the tricky part. But this is my favorite part of the story. Then there was a little boy. He was, he was put in a room, and that room was just full of, uh, of, of horse manure. And this little kid, the only thing he was given was a, was a little shovel. 
little shovel for a little, little boy. And he, he was whistling and singing and laughing. And, uh, and the parents go, hey, little boy, because that's, that's what they called him. They said, uh, why are you so happy? You're, you're in a room full of horse manure uh, and a little shovel. And he was just digging and whistling, and he goes, because underneath all this horse shit, there's got to be a pony somewhere. And I always really thought that that was real nice. And I wrote this song. It's called Red Bird. <clears throat> it goes like this. Red bird singing in my window this morning. Telephone ringing. Nobody on it. All this living is death defying. You got to laugh to keep from crying. You ever heard the story about a man in a room full of horse shit, the man had a broom and he laughed as he swept, they asked him why, he said underneath this shit there must be a horse to ride, let's go. feelings all of us felt is this heaven or is this hell is there truth or is it all perspective look into the mirror to see if there's a reflection red birds singing in my window this morning telephone ringing nobody on it all this living is death defying you gotta laugh to keep from crying you gotta laugh to keep from crying you gotta laugh to keep from crying And there's that. Thank you. Maybe I'll close out with one last one, if that's OK. Is there like a mechanism that, that like you see, like are people talking on the computer? I can see that they're talking. I'm not looking at the comment section. I can see the number going up as they comment, and that number is going up. There's people here on the other side of those screens, man. We've got a good audience tuned in right now. But there, there, there's not like a call-in se segment of the show. We can give there's away not. Something. I mean, there, there could be. Do you want to look at the comment section right now? I can't bring it up on no, this computer. No, don't do that right because I don't, you know. <laughs> if I bring it up on the computer that's doing the live stream at yeah. the same time, I'll screw up the whole thing. Yeah, I guess I was going to see if some people wanted to hear some kind of particular song, but we'll just pretend that they want to hear this one. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank and, you very uh, much. It goes both ways. We really appreciate you being here. It's extra special to be able to do it at a time like this. So thanks for coming. Yeah, for sure. Uh, not for sure that it's extra special to have me here necessarily, but I, I like that and I appreciate that. But it's extra special that we can figure out ways to keep doing what we all do during these times. And um, I appreciate you all. And much love to everybody at home. Stay well, please. And hope to... Uh, to get to do this all together before too long. <clears throat> okay, this is an older one. Mm -hmm. Under the stars, a little flame to dance in the dark. You could break my bones, you could break my heart, but you'll never break me. Love is the ocean. We are the fish, love's the surgeon, and we are the stitch. I've been wounded, but I promise you this, you will never break me. Love 
Love is the Buddha, the Christ on the cross. The angels are weeping, their tears are for us. The loss of our kindness, it comes at a cost. Let's fall in love with our telephones off. Love's my president, my lord, and my boss, and you'll never break me. Love is my president, my lord, and my boss, and you'll never Thank you. And this has been an incredible way to, to end the Saturday night program. We've had a ton of good music in here, man. We very much appreciate you coming and sharing it with us. And uh, best of luck on Strawberry Mansion. It's out January 29th of 2021. There's a lot of honesty on there. There's a lot of hopefulness on there. And uh, we really, again, appreciate you coming and sharing it with us today. Thank you so much. And uh, I only take my top off for Michael Weintraub, <laughs> who I've known for many years, and this is his beautiful studio in, in East Nashville, and it's a pleasure to, uh, to, to work with you, particularly with a nor nude torso. <laughs> That's been my greatest inspiration. This has been, dude, this has been the best, man. Michael hosting us here. There's just, the vibe here is uh, exactly what we're striving for. So this has been a perfect fit, man. I'm glad that this has all come full they circle. They don't call him exists. Michael the Vibes Menwan Trub for nothing. <laughs> he, lit, he lit a little uh, Palo Santo before the, before the sesh, you know, to get that vibe going. All right, man. Dude, thank you so much, man. Have a great rest <laughs> of your evening, you. and I hope we get to cross paths and do this again soon. And I hope everybody's doing all right out there. Lots of love. <laughs>